All right, Krista, um, here's your scan analysis from today. Um, so I accidentally initially compared this scan today to your scan on February 3rd, and that's not the one that we want. We want this scan today compared to the scan that you did on February 10th. So everything in blue writing is comparison to February 10th, and then in black writing is comparison to February 3rd, if all that makes sense. Okay, so, so what happened here this past three weeks since February 10th? You lost 3.1 pounds of water weight, and you lost 1.1 pounds of muscle cells, which I know we said we don't want, we don't want to see that happen, but if you look down here, you still are way, way, way above average for your gender and your height in terms of muscle cells. So losing a little is not significant. Ideally, perfect scan, you know, you don't lose any muscle cells. You either maintain same muscle cells or you put on muscle cells and you lose body fat. Okay, but that didn't happen here. That's okay. Like you said, your body's doing some funky things right now. So we're doing the best we can, right? Um, so you lost 1.1 pounds of dry lean mass, and then you lost 0.1 pounds of, of body fat. Okay, so your lean body mass is down 4.1 pounds, but 3.1 of that is water. Okay, so I'm not super worried. And then your net loss was 4.3 pounds with, again, 3.1 of that being water weight. So your water seems to be fluctuating a lot right now. Oh, shit. I can excuse this interruption for important announcement. Hi guys. The girls' varsity basketball game is scheduled for tomorrow, Friday, March third. If you are planning on going on the fan bus, All right. please go to row I don't know if you can 251. hear this With announcement, but it's kind of loud and annoying. This, this period ends very soon, so I need to get the hell off of this thing. Eh? So anyway, lost four point three pounds. Lost 2.2 pounds of skeletal muscle and only 0.1 pounds of body fat. So that's where things are a little wacky. And you gained 0.8 pounds of body fat according because of the weight loss and that. Okay. So if you take a look at here, this is a little bit concerning too. You lost 7.8% ability to support your body weight with your right arm. You lost 6.4% ability to support your body weight with your left arm. You lost 3.6 ability to support your body weight with your trunk. And you, along with all the other three girls in the group, you actually gained strength in your legs, which makes sense because we're doing a glute and a quad program. So you went up 0.4% and 0.3%. Okay, now the recommendation is 1.1 pounds more than what it was on the 10th, 1.1 pounds more uh, recommended body fat loss, okay? But your right arm and left arm stay the same. Your core is less 0.6 pounds, and then your, your um, right legs only gain like tiny, tiny, tiny bit of fat. And I know I heard you say this morning that your visceral fat levels, you want to see that go down. And again, I think it'll happen. We just got to continue to work to dial it in. And like I said, I'll send this to Carlene and see what she says. But um, yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. Let me know questions.